All right, let's see if uh, we can remember how to do this. Alright, what do we have today? We got a good all aluminum boat here today, sort of like a large John boat style. And I uh, haven't been able to do too many of these boat setup videos, but we went ahead and got some video of this one today. Um, just kind of want to show you some things. What seems like a simple boat setup can sometimes turn into uh, a little bit more complex than, than what it should be sometimes, it seems. But, uh, but what you got here is starting out here at the front, we had uh, some some gunnels that that kind of have they, they're not only arched a little bit on top they're kind of rounded on top but they also have a little bit of a leaned in angle so we just took our standard mount kits uh, they got bottom plates with the stainless hardware and everything like that and we, we just kind of had to put a, an angle there um, to kind of match that and if you look on down the line you can actually see where it's kind of frame that shot there you can see where they, it lines up pretty well now and uh, we want our rod holders angles to would match straight up and down as possible so uh, but then we come on back here to the back and then a lot of times on these all aluminum boats you got these corner panels and most of them have some sort of an angle and as you can see this one's got uh, quite a lot of angle this this side over here the starboard side ended up being about 19 uh, the port side over there ended up being about 17 degrees so um, 
reason why it's that picky is we want these to look as straight up and down as possible. And uh, so what we had to do, we had to take our standard HD T-bar. Uh, we made the foot a little bit wider because we needed to make an angle cut on that. And uh, we just want to make sure that those, those bolts can still fit on there nice. And, and we just do our standard welds on it. Uh, you got your base plate at the bottom here that the T-bar threads into. You pretty much undo these two bolts and the whole T-bar comes off. And then we got a plate underneath that we got a uh, got a quarter twenty hardware going through and kind of sandwiching the, the bottom side of this panel to the top and uh, and then he wanted it a little bit taller a lot a lot taller about a twenty inch T bar so that's what we got right here and then on top you just got your standard uh, four mountain hole positions and then we've got them in the three equally spaced positions as you see there and then uh, rinse wash your feet on the other side and. Uh, but this is going to be a good boat. Uh, this guy's going to be doing a lot of fishing in the river. Got that big old mud motor on there too. So this is a very cool setup. But but yeah, we kind of wanted to show off a little bit uh, uh, of sometimes a simple boat setup uh, in order to get it exactly the way you really want it and the way that these rod holders need to be used. Uh, you got to do some adjustments. But, um, but yeah, that's what we got. Uh, if, if you have a boat similar to this or if you know somebody that has one and you think uh, they could use uh, some, some custom mounts for it or maybe even a boat set if you're close enough to us, then uh, just feel free to contact us down below. We got our information and uh, or you can visit our site. But, uh, other than that, thank you for tuning in.